Hi, this is Roger, and I'm here with a political and social opinion. I've been disturbed recently by posts I've seen in social media. They have titles like The Feminization of the Black Male. The recent posts about the feminization of the black male are disappointing. Feminine is not a synonym for the lesser or the weaker. I've met black feminists and feminists of all colors who have, with a strength that defies easy comparison, won hard battles against the oppression, systematic discrimination, and entrenched male privilege of North American society. Only a fool would equate the sort of strength it takes to win an arm wrestling contest with the determination, the strength of mind, character, and will it takes for a woman or a woman of color to find her place in the world of business, politics, and labor, child rearing, or homemaking. Black women have and are fighting their way with real strength to the halls of power and to the boardrooms of this nation. Black men and women who do so should be celebrated. The use of the feminine as the lesser is insulting to the matrilineal, to matrilineal heritage of Afro and Afro-Caribbean culture. Many women of all cultures have had to deal with the challenges of child rearing, homemaking, and poverty while denied access to the economic resources and equitable pay that is their right. Survival in such contrary circumstances has been an example of strength particularly associated with the feminine and rightly so. Many black males would do well to imitate the members of our culture who raise children and maintain paid employment outside the home. Many black males would do well to imitate those members of our culture who make connections to their community and maintain connections to their family. Many black males would do well to show up at parent-teacher conferences as well as seek to climb the corporate ladder. Call it feminine if you like, but many black women are already doing these things. Instead of celebrating our success as a culture or a people, some seem to want to point to the past and wallow in its injustices. Some, understandably, riot in anger over present injustices. But spending our energies in either will not advance our collective, economic, and social and cultural interests as much as will progress in the political and financial world. For it is in those worlds that the true power lies. As for the characterization of the homosexual as feminine, you've missed the point. Images of heterosexual black masculinity retard our cultural and political advancement when they are offered without thought to how they are perceived in the wider society. Do an internet search for the term rainmaker. You'll find books about political and economic power written often by white men. You'll find production companies and movies whose lead actors also happen to be white. In your search for Rainmaker, you'll find resources for improving your economic and business prospects. And when your search comes across black images, they will be of gangster style black males flinging dollar bills at the gyrating backsides of scantily dressed women. These are the heterosexual images that we allow to propagate. The thousands that these entertainers receive for producing such images are pocket change to the CEOs and executives who hold the real economic and political capital in North America. This image of black masculinity vexes our social and political progress. If you preach about the feminization of the black male, you are hardly addressing the problem. You are in fact about as relevant to the challenges facing black society as a stereotypical African dictator who encourages his subjects to persecute the handful of homosexuals that they can find while he fattens himself and his corrupt cronies in his mansion surrounded by soldiers loyal only to their paycheck. 
His subjects lack roads and clean water while he enriches himself. Marries yet another younger woman. Feminization is not the enemy. This has been Roger. This has been one of my political and social opinions. I encourage you to subscribe. I've done more of these. Also, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and your thinking on the issue or other issues. You may also check out my health and fitness videos and I encourage you to stay active and think. Have a good day.